And welcome back to All Over the Map. Thanks for tuning in on this episode. We're going to explore the United Kingdom through Costa Coffees. See, it's Costa's. Uh, we're going to have some fun with this one. It's the second largest coffee chain in the world from what I've uh, read. Um, I guess obviously behind Starbucks, but we're going to play this one. As a no time limit, moving, panning, zooming, allowed challenge, the play along link. For those of you that want to play along, will be in the description below. And yeah, Costa Coffees, it's the number one chain in the UK. So I'm sure that's where most of you get your coffees. Um, so here is Bite Into the Best. So Costa Coffee, if you get a coffee, I'm sure you can probably get tea at Costa Coffee. Uh, let us know if you get uh, if you go here on a daily basis, weekly basis, or if you've been here recently. Uh, I see McDonald's in the background. I'll probably be playing another UK McDonald's game. If there's an interest in that, uh, let me know. I'm going to do uh, something to that effect. Um, so, yeah, if you want to request any games, if you want me to play, you're from England, you're from Wales, from Scotland, let me know. What, uh, what game you want me to play next here on All Over the Map. All right. Um, St. Helens, the M57, the M62. Okay, so looking around Manchester to Leeds, uh, the M57, uh, 62 is going from Hull to... Manchester, it seems. Just need to study the roads a little more in the UK. Um, what do we got here? The A57, the A58. All right, goes all the way over to Liverpool. And here it is. Hoyton, Prescott, St. Helens. So, Halsneed Hals Park, Tarbuck. So, let's take a look around a little bit. Discount booze, savings and loans. Uh, interesting shopping complex here. Um, the Chippy. Maybe I could do a Chippy. Miami Pizza. Um, fish and chip shops of the UK. Uh, Domino's next to Costa Coffee. Looks like a drive through Let's take a look here. Uh, bite into the best. There's a cost to drive through. And uh, yeah, there we are. All right, so what road are we on though? Let's see, what road is this? <laughs> a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of people making turns right at west. There's the competitor, we're not going to mention on this game, other than the first uh, couple minutes of the game. Just going to look for Costa Coffee. Um, I noticed that it was acquired or in a deal with Coca-Cola and that the only Costa Coffees in the United States, say hi to the Google Street View, um, the only Costa Coffees, about six of them are in Atlanta, Georgia, which makes sense because that's the head of Coca-Cola. Headquarters. It's interesting there. I'm sure that's Everton, Liverpool. Uh, slow down for Frankie. It's probably something behind that. Looks like the war or something. Food trucks. A lot of interesting going, interesting things going on. If you're new to the channel, I'm an American. I like to explore a lot about the UK, Finland, other countries, Nordic countries, and um, yeah, since I haven't traveled these locations hopefully soon um, all right so this is what I do so I explore I try to find these locations add a little bit of commentary uh, but yeah just um, let's get back to start because this is gonna help I think a little better here Croxtick Croxteth Country Park St. Helens where is St. Helens Okay, there's Croxton. All righty. 
Maybe we're on the Liverpool Road. Prescott. Prescott. And there we are. Hoyton. We've got the Lidl and Page Moss. There's the cost of coffee. Park and booze. A lot of booze in this area, it seems. Domino's right in front on the Liverpool Road. And that's where we are. 5,000 points just outside of Liverpool. Now we go inside. It's like an airport. Lifts. Bag. Yeah, South Terminal. So... Uh, again, if you're new to the channel, a lot of you maybe are returning. Uh, I do have airports in the UK, so if you uh, check that out, I did that uh, last week, the week before. Everything runs together. Um, people getting their coffee on the way, getting their caffeine on the way to wherever they're going. On the International Departures Lounge, North Terminal of what airport? Republic of Ireland, the London News Company. So are we Heathrow or are we Gatwick? I don't know. Some of you are going to know this right away. And some of you might have even gotten a coffee here. And I keep saying coffee because it's cost of coffee. I'm guessing there's you can get an Earl Grey tea. Earl Grey or breakfast teas. I like uh, tea, folks. I don't like coffee. I like the smell of coffee. Let's see, are they looking for all over the map? No, they're looking for... Ruya Kelkar. Okay. Um, yeah, so I like tea. I like tea. Coffee. Look at that. He's got his cost of coffees. He's ready to go wherever they're going. Going to jam out. Some musicians here. Headed out to the U.S. maybe. It does look like it says Gatwick, which is interesting because I did get Gatwick in... M&S Simply Food. Is there a Marks and Spencer? Would that even be an interest? Marks and Spencer or McDonald's? Um, okay. All right. So international arrivals. I got to think about Gatwick. I think it's down here. Yes, it is. Crawley. So I just think of Crawley and I think of Gatwick now. Now I know where it is. There's McDonald's. Gatwick. North Terminal. Yeah, the North Terminal. Shake Shack. There is MS Simply Food. Looking north. And this is probably right. I'm just going to drop it in here. Probably not close. Yeah. So 61 yards. Missed this one by three points. But it was Gatwick's cost of coffee. I'm sure some of you have gotten that coffee on the way to Tenerife for maybe the United States. We got Quicksilver. There's the cost. I'm not sure why it's hidden. Why a person making the map couldn't have just done that. Um, but in any case. Um, hello. Does it say Scunthorpe? It is. That'd be pretty crazy. I could read that, but I think Scunthorpe is just one of those, again, from an American's perspective, a weird, unusual name. We're not used to saying. But I also feel like it's a soccer club, and I don't know why it was like made fun of, or not made fun of, but it's a small club. I felt like something that I saw, I don't know what it was in the past, it said Scunthorpe United was... Something with that. And I, I don't know. Maybe they're National League. Maybe they're League 2, League 1. I don't know. More cash loans, though. 20% off. Borrow up 
to a couple thousand pounds secondhand jewelry. The thing I've noticed in the UK is that there's a lot of like food stores, um, which is interesting. A lot of like the uh, so it looks like one either one large Red Bull or some beer. Um, but yeah, I've just noticed like a lot of like food, like mini grocery stores. Um, anyway, probably just getting, let's see if this is, all right. <laughs> and then I was thinking, well, maybe I'm doing a lot of the games here on GeoGuessr that are around food or drink. So that would kind of probably make sense. And I also see a lot of these shops too. Um, seemingly more than the United States, not as big here in the United States, but it seems like it's, um, I don't know if I should say that or not, probably shouldn't even really show it. I, I don't know, like, ooh, Nottingham. Doesn't mean a tavern. But yeah, I see a lot of those stores uh, in many of these towns in the UK. All right, you got train station Santander. It's a bank uh, near me. I think it's Santander, same bank, right? So that's interesting. Alrighty, so what do we do? What do we do? Do we say this is Scunthorpe, Nottingham? So we gotta be, what is this? Yeah, see, I mean, there's just every, like how can there be that many stores? I mean, that's the, the market share here isn't, can't be all that, unless just everybody is doing that, I don't know. Um, this is interesting, um, to see this, cause this is the first time I've seen the UK with some boarded up decrepit buildings here. Uh, we got Northern Lincolnshire though. Yep. It does say Scunthorpe. So we are Scunthorpe, which I said Nottingham. So maybe we're around here near, near here somewhere. What was the other one? It said... Jenny's nails. Oh, the other thing I, I've seen a lot, I've noticed a lot of her hair places to get uh, uh, salons and stuff as well. Northern Lincoln. Oh, okay, so I was thinking Lincolnshire. Uh, I was thinking whatever's up here. I can't think what this part of the country is. Um, not Lincolnshire, but it, can, it begins with an L, I think. Um, up in this way, that's what I was thinking. But let's see where Scunthorpe is. Nottingham, Boston. There we go. Scunthorpe United Football Club. A lot of little canals over here near the football club, uh, but we're right in the city center. Um, Magnolia, the Tavern, Stars Pizza, the Blue Bell Inn. Ravendale Street. There's the high street. Costa Coffee, here we are. Looking at the Quicksilver store. Doesn't look like it's still there. And uh, yeah, so we are on the high street in Scunthorpe. Nine yards, 5,000 points. We get off to the fourth round and uh, there's a Costa Coffee drive through next to a subway. So these, these locations look like they are in the United States attached to some other type of chain. Or nearby. Some probably marketing thing that people smarter than I know. M&S. Marks and Spencer, I guess, um, is, yeah, so what would you be interested in? A game like that? I don't even know if there is a GeoGuessr game, Marks and Spencer, or KFC, the Colonel, or McDonald's. What? Which one of those? Or you can create one. 
Um, would everybody be interested in for the next GeoGuessr game on all over the map? Gallagher Retail Park. Tesco Extra. All right, so what do we have? Grimsby Hall. Doncaster. Um, Flixbra. So the A18 Grimsby. Where do we see it, Grimsby? Was that in Sweden? I think it was. Um, I was thinking there's. Okay, so we're down the road. Oh, we're back in the same area. How about this? Um, Frodingham Grange. Frodingham Grange. Such an English name. Um, Doncaster 18. All right. Doncaster's here. Barnet B. Lo, I was going to say the world, but it's not. Cleethorpes, East Ravendale. Um, it's not Tetley, it's Tetney. Interesting uh, shape of a building for Pizza Hut. They used to be this roof, like interesting style of Pizza Hut, I guess. Um, town center, North Lincolnshire. Here's the A18, Brig. The A18 goes into Scunthorpe. Uh, this is where we are. <laughs> that would be interesting. Gallagher Retail Park, <laughs> Scunthorpe again. Um, here's a cost of coffee. How about that? We get two rounds in Scunthorpe. Oh, hopefully it's not one of these games where somebody's from... Wait a minute, wait a minute, what did I do here? There we go, so looking southwest. I think we're right about... Whoa, missed this one by 1.29 yards. But there we go. All right, so we've got uh, this nice Costa coffee. That's out of wall for the dog. We've got their lattes. I guess you get lattes, MS food available here. Chartered accountants. Accountants got to live on their coffees. So that's why it's probably the same buildings across from Sainsbury's. Um, walking and carrying a big stick. A lot of interesting things going on here. This is what I like. Just seeing different, uh, different, um, locations. Never heard of this one. Wilco. You get deals there at Wilco. Get some flowers. Guy got whatever he got at Wilco. 
Maybe he's not going to coming from Wilco. Maybe he's going some other place. St. Andrews Cafe. T for 50p. Or if you get tea or coffee for 50p at Costa's. Bell Hotel. All right, so this is an interesting, interesting looking brick, look, looking um, architecture for the UK. A little different than what I'm used to, on at least this type of brick. Um, so, you're yeah, not really sure where this is. Maybe this is in the south someplace. Okay. I know this. I got to figure out this calling codes. It's going to help. Okay, Hoddleston. There's the William H. Brown. When I think of England, right, when I think of homes, style, I think of this. This is what I think of. Uh, I can't think of the term for this. Is it Tudor style? I could be wrong. Maybe that's just an American way of saying things. Got American flag there in Balmforth. Uh, but a nice little town here. This is actually pretty cool. Like this little town. So we explore. Get your cost of coffee or tea and walk around. I like the, I like the architecture. This is pretty cool architecture here. Um... Rusty Trunk, uh, Langton Flowers, Henley's, a lot of estate agents in this town. Whoa, what happened there? All right, so turning into its usual longer game as I like to explore. Uh, Rumbles, Fish Bar. There's... Uh, Milden Hall. So, Milden Hall, I, I think there's an Air Force base there. And not United States one, in fact. I'm not sure uh, if we're in this town, but I'm going to guess. I remember this from the airport one. Milden Hall, if I think about it, is north of London somewhere. Chelmsford, Salbridgeworth, San Stansted, Mount Fitchett. What an interesting town. Stansted, I think, is another airport, but I'm not sure if it's in this area. Getting off track a little bit. Um, Milden Hall. Anyway. Milden Hall, Milden Hall. Let me just need to confirm that we're there. Boots. It's Boots a chain. It's too small for me to read that. Boots is opticians. All right, we're going to go back to town here. Well, you know what? Uh, this kind of makes sense then. If there's American flag, Milden Hall is the Air Force Base. I'm sure there's probably a lot of Americans in, in this area, I would guess, right? That would make West... Suffolk. Okay, that doesn't really help me as much. And I know some of you might. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to guess in these areas where there's... Do people from the United States live on base or do they live in the town? That's... I don't know. Somebody's going to have to let us know. That's watching in from uh, this area of the country. That's a pretty cool... Towns in the UK. Um, okay, so Costa Coffee. The only thing I've seen that stood out to me is Milden Hall. And there's Milden Hall again. So this is where we are. B1102. Milden Hall, okay. W1102, let me just see. Looks like an airport, right? 
Uh, okay, Royal Air Force Base Mildenhall. So maybe this wasn't a U.S. Air Force Base. It is. looks like the Royal Air Force. So maybe I've got that one wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. But anyway, maybe there was that American flag, though, so I'm not really sure. Somebody's going to have to let us know. Top G wings. Okay, Top G. I uh, didn't see that one, but I saw Costa Coffee. There we are. Uh, no perfect score today, but um, anyway, you're looking. Wait, is this it? Yes, it is. Sainsbury's. There we are. 5,000 points. Mildenhall, UK for the last round. Uh, pretty good game, this one. Got a good cross-section of England. So this is more of an England cost of coffees game. But nonetheless, if you've been to any, let us know. With that said, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, cheers.